Welcome to another episode of Afear TV. This is your host, Nadalka Mayers. Today we'll be talking with wedding planner extraordinaire Colin Cowie on planning the perfect destination wedding. I guess I, I feel very fortunate to be able to work on the scale that we work with. When I do a wedding, it's everything. You know, hair, makeup, clothing, crown, food, every single aspect of what it takes. And a long time ago I decided that I want to be a big wedding factory or that I want to be an artist. So I only take 46 weddings a year, the commissions that I take on. So there has to be a real good foot between us in order for us to really get on well. And it's a rather intimate experience because you really get to be the best friend, the stylist, the designer, the arbiter. I mean, you become the family therapist. You wear many hats in many different roles. The biggest trend still is clearly the destination wedding, where more and more people are opting to take a smaller group of people either to an island or to another city or a country inn or a bed and breakfast. It's maybe a journey rather than spending or having three or four hundred people in the hometown. So it becomes kind of like this 72 hour period of time that's jam packed with wonderful magical moments from Friday night to Sunday brunch. I think one of the things is logistics, is always make sure that whatever you dream, whatever you want to do, because you are working out of your environment, you have the support team and the support staff to do it. And of course, you know, the wedding can be from a moderate size to a large production and everything in between. You, know, you want to make sure that you take into account the climate, that you embrace local people. If something does go wrong, there is, is always a local someone who has resources who's able to give you the support that you need. And also, you know, I believe that a well-informed guest is a happy guest. So, you know, tell them what you told them, put it in writing and send them an email. So, you know, maybe there's a website that you set up so that they can understand where they're going, how to get there, uh, where to book accommodation. Um, and I always like to send them wherever I have travel involved, after the wedding invitation, you send a confirmation package which gives you travel details and accommodation details and what to pack and, you know, there could be mosquitoes and just so basically you really get get them in the flavor of what to anticipate so they can pack accordingly and be the ultimate guest.